G'day guys, I've got a calculus video for you today and a couple of my students have asked me to go over a question like I'd be doing it in an exam. So I thought this would be a bit of a quick fire video and I hope it's informative. So basically if I've got it here, I've got a spherical balloon is leaking gas. Use the incremental formula to estimate the percentage change in the radius if the volume decreases from 800 centimetres cubed to 788 centimetres cubed. Okay, so the incremental formula guys just if we're going to be talking about volume in terms of radius, it's going to be the small change in volume can be approximated by the rate of change of volume with respect to radius times the small change in the radius. Cool. So we're going to be looking for percentage change in the end in the radius. So what we're actually going to be looking for in the end, guys, is we're trying to find delta R over R. So we're going to try and isolate that in the end. So it's good to have that in the back of our heads of what, you know, what we're actually looking for in the end. So first of all, let's figure out what this dV dr is. Well, we know that volume of a sphere in terms of radius, well, hopefully all you guys know the volume in terms of radius, is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So if we're going to talk about uh, the derivative of this, dV dr, we're going to be left with 3 times 4 over 3 is simply 4 pi r squared. Cool. So what I would then do is I would insert this back into here. And we are left with delta v is equal to 4 pi r squared times delta r. Now... What we're actually looking for is we're looking for percentage change. So I'm going to get the percentage change in the volume because that's the method that I prefer to do. So we then go, this is going to be all over volume. I'm dividing both sides of the equality by the volume. And then what we're left with, guys, is we get dV over V is equal to 4 pi R squared times delta R all divided by now this V here, rather than writing V, I'm going to put in what the volume is equal to. Well, the volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now, what we can do is looking at this, we can see that the pi's are going to cancel out. We can see that all the radius squared on the top will cancel out and everything but one of the radius will cancel out at the bottom. And if we do 4 divided by 4 over 3, what we're going to be left with is simply 3. So this is equal to 3 times delta R over R. Now, as you can see, guys, we've got delta R over R here. So, you know, that's a bit of a bonus. So we're going to insert the numbers that we know. I'm just going to use red to make it a little bit more easy to see. So we know that the change in volume is negative 12 centimetres cubed. So delta R... Delta V, sorry, is equal to negative 12. We know that the original volume is equal to 800. So we can insert this into our equation now as well. So I'm going to just go, well, therefore, negative 12 over 800 is equal to 3 times... Delta R on R. Now I can divide both sides by three, guys, and then I get I take if I take the three over to here, I'm going to be dividing by three, so that's like timesing the denominator by three. So I'm going to go well. This is negative twelve. Eight threes are twenty-four. And now we have to try and make it. Um, we have to simplify this fraction here. So. Negative 12 goes into 24, well, twice. So I'm going to go, well, this is going to be negative 1 over 200 is equal to delta R on R. And then I can say, well, negative 1 on 200 is the same as we're looking for percentage change. Negative 1 on 200 is the same as half of 1%. So therefore, we can say that the percentage change
it's always good to write um, your answer down, guys, is in the what you've actually found is equal to negative 0.5%. So guys, I've tried to go through that quickly to show you how I would be working this out in an exam. This, I think from memory, was worth about four marks. So you're going to get a mark for introducing the um, introducing and differentiating the volume formula. So we'll get a mark for doing that. We'll probably get a mark for in substituting this into the um, incremental uh, formula, which is this one here. We'll probably get a mark for that. We'll then probably get a mark for identifying that this is our we can use our percentage change in volume like this. So we're probably getting a mark for that, and then we'll finally get a mark for the final thing. So I hope that video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like these kind of quick fire videos, um, be sure to let me know in the comments. But until next time, keep enjoying your maths.